Bishop Carcano, fellow members and friends, it's been my privilege to be president of the Retired Clergy Association these last two years. And uh, it's fortuitous that we follow the presentation from the endowment board because that $111,000 is well spent. It uh, provides us with an executive officer, Nancy Daly. It provides per diem for retired members and spouses to attend annual conference. It subsidizes the cost of mission trips and, and retreats. It uh, helps us have an affordable lunch at the annual conference. And we are, we are most grateful. If you all would like to donate to the endowment board, they do wonderful work. However, I want to call at this time Randy Boland, Jeff Holder, and Greg Vang to come up here, please. Because we also, not from the endowment board money, but from our own membership uh, donations and from memorial gifts, we provide scholarships to seminary students and to students who are attending the course of study. And it is our great joy to do so. And so I would like to introduce Alice Ann Glenn, who is the uh, new chair of the Memorial Scholarship Committee, and she's going to tell you a little bit about these wonderful folks so you can celebrate how good this is. And I would also suggest that if you want to give a memorial gift at any time, we might be able to give more scholarships. Each one of these is $1,500. This time it just happens, they're all for the course of study, and we are grateful for the opportunity to do this. The money also comes from the membership dues of the Re uh, Retired Clergy Association for these. Uh, Randall? He is known as a Bible teacher, a VIM worker, and his congregation said he is skilled and an insightful preacher, and he is serving currently, I believe, Lamore and Armona. Let us give thanks. <laughs> Jeffrey Holder is currently serving Riverbank and Oakdale. And he has been doing outreach ministries to veterans in Oakdale. And he's been doing monthly community events in Riverbank. And he's also a founding member of the Jubilee Initiative. Let us give thanks. And our third recipient is Greg Vang, who is at St. Paul Fresno. He has started the Hmong ministry there and is also working as the lay reader for the English service. He started youth activities nights, and he's working very diligently to blend the Anglo and the Hmong cultures. Let us give thanks. The reason Alice Ann didn't hand them checks is because they've already received them. <laughs> yes. And one more very, very fun, serendipitous thing that happened at our Wednesday annual conference luncheon was Helen Kim came to the lunch because she wanted to tell us thank you. About seven years ago, she received the Bob Carey Memorial Scholarship. She went on to complete seminary. She went on to complete her doctorate. She's now teaching modern American church history at, at uh, Candler School of Theology and is in the ordination process in this conference. It's, it's wonderful to see the seeds that you plant grow and develop. So thank you, Helen, if you're here someplace too. Thank you.